Welcome back to Houston Life. The busy holiday season is right around the corner, don't we know it? Or is it already here? I feel like it's here. <laughs> you know, getting ready to host guests, it doesn't have to cost you a fortune if you plan and if you prepare. That's right. TV personality and home design content creator Dee Brown is here with tips on how to refresh a space without blowing that budget. And Dee, you can be friendly to your wallet and still make your guests feel like they are welcome at home in a comfortable space. That's the idea. I mean, we been talking about it all day, right? The holidays are here. Yes. We spend so much money on food and all of the things that we need to do to keep our guests comfortable, right? And so why do you want to break the bank by doing all of the bells and whistles and the decor and things of that nature? So we're going to start out with some tips on how you can spruce up that space but not break the bank. But guess what? You're not going to have to pay anything. I love it because oh, you're like already that. buying so much other stuff. You're buying yeah. the food. To, right. Oh, yes. What and then can you we do? buy it and if it's seasonal, you really only use it a little bit. I don't know. I'm, yeah. Right. But see, before you even buy, Mm -hmm. Want to declutter? Yeah, that's not my favorite thing to do. My husband absolutely <laughs> loves to declutter. It's so annoying sometimes. Want to declutter? I, I, I call my clutter my abundance. Okay, but, no, it's abundance. But it's not clutter. This, it's abundance. Some, and sometimes when you declutter, guess what? You find new things. I feel yeah, like I do true. that every time I do laundry. I go shopping. Right. right? <laughs> so you want to declutter? You want to rearrange your furniture? Simple things, but this is my favorite: swap accent pieces from other rooms. Oh, Use okay. Other fun. pieces from other spaces. Oh. You can pull something maybe from your den and putting in your living room. Things like that. So it's a way to kind of switch it up. But guess what? People are having swap parties. Oh, so friends are getting together. Now, you may idea. not want to show up with a sofa, right? No. But <laughs> do not show up with a sofa. Unless you have a truck. Right. Unless you have a truck and a mover with a sofa. But people are having Strong swap man. parties. Friends are, you know, they're like, okay, I need to get rid of this, but I need this. So they're having these parties. They're bringing these items, and they're swapping them out. And then finally, we want to think about personal artwork. So you can't afford to buy artwork. Guess what? You can create your own pieces. I have a piece right here on the front. It's a picture that my daughter made in school, oh. right? So I just got a really cute friend. How from Ikea, cute. I framed it, and it's a great way to involve the family in your decor. That's my That's thing. Cute. Your decor in your home should speak volumes about your personality. And it's totally That's personal, and yeah. I'm sure your daughter loves the fact she that you've, hung, you've made a beautiful space for it. That is so smart. Yeah, she's D Brown 2.0, so she's full of personality. <gasps> oh my gosh. Another day, another conversation. You need to bring her in. Yes. Yeah. Her in. Let her host. <laughs> right. Yeah. So let's go into some low budget ways to spruce up that space. Wait, so I'm going to start by picking up this can of paint. Oh. Yes, I picked up a can of okay. paint. This is from my house. This is the paint that we use. It's all messy and nasty, right? <laughs> it is the quickest and surest way to spruce up your space, to freshen it up. So we added a little Wayne's coating, as you can see here in the video. Okay. We paint it. Um, I started this process, but I was humbled pretty quickly. I was like, no, this is not for me. I'm not a DIY, get it, girl? Um, but paint is the surest way to do it. You can get a gallon of paint for 20 bucks. And here's a quick tip. At Home Depot and at Sherwin-Williams, sometimes people return paint, oh. and they mark it down even cheaper. So oh. I've seen five gallons before for like 19 bucks. Oh Just make sure you like the color. You don't want to be stuck with some kind of crazy color. You don't want to do that. But again, it's the surest way to transform a room. And what? you can use this on a smaller wall. Like you, this doesn't have to be a whole room thing. You no, can you can use out an accent wall. You can do an accent wall. You mm -hmm. can do the entire room if it's tiny. You can still do the peel and stick. I love the peel and stick. I wall. love the peel and stick too. Yeah, yeah, I put it on an accent wall. And it's keep not it like contact on your school books, is it? Like it, it doesn't like that peel oh, and stick. I've never tried I've it. Like it, yeah, that. and you get the bubbles in it. That's no. a blast from the past. But they have like <laughs> they have these pieces to where you can kind of smooth it out. So it comes with a kit, so you can do that and make yeah, it happen. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, media next, console. So is yes. that something you can do? Yes. Like, okay. So it's more so about repurposing vintage pieces. Oh, so this. I got this piece for 120, oh, wow. 30 bucks, and I bought it off of Macari. And I had a wood crafter, Jared. He is so amazing. And he refreshed it, made it beautiful, painted wow. it. And here's the after. Again, we spent 128 I paid 150 to get it painted, sanded, to make it restyled. The one that I really wanted was actually like 9000 Wow. So this, wow. this ended up turning into a love project for my husband because he loves music. Uh -huh. I found this, and I set up the whole entire space to actually um, follow this piece. But again, go to the thrift stores. That's the whole point. Yeah. Go to the thrift stores, Facebook Marketplace. And vintage is so in right now. Like all the young yeah. kids, they they want the old stuff mm. that we were yeah. wearing in the '90s. That oh, goes the do. same for furniture. It goes the same for this. And you have a story about some uh, vintage art. Yes. Okay. So vintage art. So I I'm not really 
um, into art as much. I, I, mean, I have a lot to learn, but this piece is so special because guess what? My father that passed in December of 21, this came out of his house. I've been wanting this piece ever since he bought it in the 80s and I've always wanted it and so we got it. Oh, we got geez. it reframed at Michael's and we put it up and we put a cute little um, light over it so it can just shine Look at your down. husband doing a good job. Oh yeah, he is good. the mom do. Honey, do that. Listen. <laughs> yes. And, and here that we are. Beautiful. So it added glam, but again, it's, it's a great way to pay homage to my dad and to incorporate him into the decor. That's a point. And you can make a picture look completely different by putting a fresh frame For on sure. it. For you know? sure. And the light. I got it at Amazon. Mm -hmm. Just a couple of bucks. And it's wireless. Okay. See, yeah. that lighting I need the link to because yes. that's what they're doing in hotels now. Yes. That very oh. thing with the accent lighting and the gold. I, I promise. I was at the Tremont in, in Galveston and this is what they have in and their what? They give you delicious a remote. lobby. They give you a remote. Yes. Oh my gosh. Super, super, super jazzy. So wonderful. Oh. I love it. Yes. So okay. Nice. What's our next What's our next tip? So the next tip that we want to think about, we want to add a focal point. Okay. So okay. a focal point doesn't have to take much, but during uh, the season, what do we like to do? We like to eat and to drink. Eat. So yeah. in this example, <laughs> I love to eat. Yum, yum, yum. I and drink. And drink. Right. Yeah. I incorporated a bar. So I decided so to do a bar in our lounge. We converted our living space into a, a lounge space. Oh, it's a music lounge. I have this. I paid for it. This $270 from at home, and it was affordable. It delivered in a couple of days. We put it together. I set it up, and we created our bar space. At home, so, so which good. makes it so festive. It's going to yeah. be hard to take it down, though. Do you think it's going to stick around? No, I'm going to keep it oh, for sure. <laughs> that is not going anywhere. Oh, oh I thought but, you were just putting it up. The no, no, no. Yeah. So it works for the space, but it's also accommodating for our guests. Yeah. So it's a place where we can chill, listen to records on that 1961 piece. Brilliant. And I can oh. pour them drinks. And speaking of drinks, oh, these right. are some of the drinks that I have at our bar. But get this guys they're non-alcoholic cheers oh right? I mean, yeah that's so, a great way to start they, a monday d brown cheers like oh, okay this is <laughs> i've never <laughs> tasted it they're you called never like never curious tasted elixirs Ooh. um they are Ooh. booze free craft cocktails the creator jw wiseman guys he founded this company it was just a he was curious yum. to know how can i make this oh, yum. and make it good and it's mm. non-alcoholic and it's an amazing company and, and it's perfect for the holiday and you know what this is everything the stemware mm. is everything it says christmas it says a change in the season i I love it. Okay, you have one more. You have one more. Yes. Okay, so one more thing that we can do at a coffee table. Oh. So again, it's a cheap way. Okay. Coffee tables, everybody knows about coffee tables, yeah, right? It's nothing new, but again, it's a great way to pull in different pieces and make it a focal point. Maybe you can't upgrade to that expensive sofa yet, but you distract your guests by bringing their attention yeah. to the coffee table. Love it. So it's a strategy. It's all about building strategy. In that coffee table, you can do very simple things. This coffee table here, I paid $130 from oh athome.com. That's and we just put a cute little book there. You know, we put some beading, some candles. Okay, this is like updated, but we have some before yeah, and afters here. Oh no, the share. before are dreadful. Um, <laughs> this is when oh, we first oh, bought the Oh, I was gonna say, gosh, look oh, how it's cheap. Not that no, bad. look at the stain in the carpet. Can we start there? <laughs> oh my gosh! Like, but you hit it with a beautiful rug. Yeah, what we, pu yeah. we pulled the we carpet pulled up. Pulled the carpet. Yeah, uh -huh. we got the floors done, and we just totally decked out the space. Wow. So it packs a punch. This it's comfortable, and again, we get to listen to records playing on that 1961 console. We get to have our drinks, and we can chill and. Have a happy, merry Christmas, Thanksgiving, you name it. I love it. Yeah. Brown, yeah. And we have a link to connect with D Brown on our website because, oh, the space is space in. HoustonLife.tv, just look for that scene on section. It is awesome. So remember yeah. the decluttering, all the design tips. I'm taking this home with me because I just got it in every it. place. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm the before picture. I'm living in the before picture yeah. right yeah. now. Yeah. No, yeah. I might just visit. try and get you to come to my house <laughs> and give me some pointers. We can make it a girls' night. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we can swap different items. Actually, right. that would be a good Perfect. pre Let's holiday plan for it. party yeah. to just get in the mood. And, yeah, get decorating with the girls. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it.